What is going on guys? I'm Palmer here and today I have a little story for you all and this is just a little clip before. Just I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like this video please like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you next Great time. Night. Now every term we have an exam week where obviously it's for exams where we do all our exams for the term. Now this exam week we had a study session where it was on a Thursday and we have homerooms at my school where it's like a before and after day thing after the day it like ends pretty much where we can like chill out get ready for the day all this type of stuff and it was first period which is straight after homeroom we lined up at the front of the class what, like every kid in my class had lined up at the front of there and my friend KB, that's what I'm referring to him as that it, that's not his actual name but I'm going to just say he called him KB for this this video and his teacher was uh, taking care of us for this study session now she had left to go get the role and see what she was like, study, like helping us study for and she had left us and KB went inside to put his books down and I followed him in with my books and put my books down next to his and when when we tried going out of the classroom because we were just mucking around at his lockout then when we tried going out of the classroom uh, some of our classmates have locked us in so they're like holding the door all up against it and I thought it would be funny to pick up the fire extinguisher and pretend to like use it on them and I had even pulled out the pin which is like a little circle and at the end of it it's like a little circle and then there's two like metal bits sticking out from it where it's like a little claw type of thing and it um at the bottom it had like a jagged line a uh, jagged type of thing where it would be like it wouldn't be as easy to just slide out and when I had pulled this out, they were like all looking at me, and then they're like, "So call me a pussy and all this." And I was, I, I really like saying, "Wanna bet?" So like, I like proving people wrong. And they were like, "All call me a pussy and stuff." And then I thought I was just like, "Here, what if I just press it?" I'm not surely not too much would come out. But I was wrong. A shit ton, I mean a shit ton, came out. Like, heaps. It went all in the carpet. The room looked like there's like a smoke bomb just went off. And in the carpet, when you put your foot on it, all the smoke and shit would come out. Like, not smoke, but the foam. Not fo it's not the foam one, it's like the cloudy one. And the room was so cloudy. But when the teacher had come in, KB, um, he gets in trouble a lot by this teacher and does a lot of stupid things with this teacher. But straight away, she was blaming him. I felt so bad, and I couldn't. Like he, he wouldn't have dobbed on me for it. Like he's a, like a friend like that, like a good friend like that. And so he was just trying to like say it wasn't me. I don't. He didn't know what happened. And I felt bad for him, and she was going to find out somehow, because there's this other kid that's really weird. His name's Kieran, but we call him um, K-Dog, because he loves his Minecraft, and he's just so weird. Like, he's that person that just sits there and, like, in the corner, stares at you. Like, he's a guy. He, he always crosses his legs, and back when he first came to school... He like would always put his hand on your shoulder and like go right up in your face and go <sighs> and it it was he was just scary back then. Yeah. And he was a good boy, like a goody two shoes that he would definitely tell. And so I thought I might as well just hand myself in and just say it was me. And when this happened, she had gotten super mad, and she was like, going on about all these things, and then I, s 
And then she told me to go to the she called up the office and told me to go down to the office. Which I had. Listen though, because I didn't want to get any, any more trouble than I already was. But when I got down there, it was my homeroom teacher that I was talking to, and she said, You could be suspended for this, which is like leaving school for a couple of days. And my mum and dad had split up, so I currently live with my dad. I used to live with my mum, and then I moved to my dad's, where um, I liked it more. And if I did get suspended or expelled, this was a part of the arrangements of living with my dad. And if I got suspended or expelled, I would have to come back to my mum's. And the other option f for the um, consequence was a Saturday attention, which is obviously on a Saturday. And it goes for three hours and you have to clean up and all this. And luckily, I got the Saturday. I got the Saturday and I had to repay for the refill which was pretty dear, it was between $120 and uh, $200 and after this me and, my me and my friend KB were still really good mates, we still are and we always muck around and stuff and I actually have another story with him so make sure you leave a like, comment and subscribe if you did like this video I can put up the another video with my friend KB another story with my friend KB and now, I ca even after a couple of weeks, actually, the carpet was still like, when you touched it, all this smoky shit would come out and it looked so cloudy. But, if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. And, uh, c if we can get 10 likes, I know that is a pretty big ask for only just starting YouTube. But if we can get 10 likes, I'll make sure I do another one of these little stories. I, I do have two more stories for you at the moment, so I'm thinking of doing an embarrassing story next. And also, I will be doing more of those supply drop openings, like I did yesterday. So if you did like them, expect more of them. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.